for coming back. We're happy to have you, and good morning. Now we got a lot of information thrown at us before the break about Wisconsin potatoes and ginseng, courtesy of Allison Dairyland. Thank you very much. Jackie was thrilled with it. She's been <laughs> nibbling on some ginseng products as the break <laughs> rolled through. So I thought it'd be fun to test Ashley and Jackie on some random potato and ginseng facts in a friendly quiz game. So let's see how they're going to do. Let's pull up question number one. Mm, so where is the largest potato masher in the world located? A, Wausau, Wisconsin, B, Boise, Idaho, C, Plover, Wisconsin, or D, Dublin, Ireland. It's like a physical like potato masher. That yes, like, it is a physical, like a it is the of. largest physical potato masher in the world. Jackie, where are you going with? Hmm, I'm gonna guess Boise, Idaho. Sounds like something Idaho would have. I think That's they fair. have like an Airbnb potato. So. <laughs> that, I've seen that before, actually. <laughs> Interesting. Boise. Interesting. Ashley, what are you going with? So my guess is C, Plover, Wisconsin. Interesting, interesting decisions. Let's see who's right. And the winner is oh. Ashley with Plover, Wisconsin. I have to check that out then. Yes, so that is, you know, certainly an odd sculpture they have down there mm -hmm. in Plovel. I, I did not expect to find that, but uh, impressive you knew what that was mm -hmm. and where it was. It's part of the Food and Farm Exploration Ooh. Center that just opened here oh, in December, okay. so check it out if you're interested. <laughs> of course you knew. Well, let's see if we can stump her on question number two. Jackie's ready for a comeback. Where did potatoes originate from? The Mayans of the Yucatan Peninsula. B, the Incas of Peru. C, the Irish of Western Ireland. D, Devin Biggs of Western Illinois. Well, the Devin, Could be any of them. The very Devin good options. The answer is very, I'm almost tempted to pick that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm, Devin's looking at us like he, All right, he we'll, did We'll it. switch up the order. Alice in Dairyland, Ashley, which would you like to guess? Okay, my guess is B, the Incas of Peru. Interesting, interesting. Jackie, Jackie, what are you going with? I want to say D. <laughs> but I'm, I really want to say D just for the heck of it. But I'll go, I feel like Ashley's smart. I'm going to copy her. All right, okay. that's a good move. That's a good move. It was indeed B, the Incas of Peru. Ooh. I thought the Mayans of the Yucatan would kind of throw you guys off. Mm -hmm. You weren't fooled yet. Yeah. We'll yeah. go right on to the question Ireland number three. The felt too obvious. It did, it yes. did. The, the D was a good good guess, though. Yeah. Devin Biggs is a you know, little spudsy down there. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> Maybe actually he came up with the idea. Or it originated, but Inca's Bruce stole them. They, they took it from him. But we'll move right along <laughs> to question number three. Who was the first United States president? And one of these is not a person uh, to serve French fries in the White House. Now, your options are Thomas Jefferson, old guy. B, the Himalayas, also very old. <laughs> D, is Andrew Jackson, and C, is Donald Trump. Well, Who hope... served French fries in the White House first? I hope it's not Trump, because that's way too late to have been serving French fries. Yeah. All right, maybe, maybe. Who knows how, 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 what's your French fry knowledge here? I'm gonna go. Ooh. All right, Jackie. Thomas Jefferson. Jackie, all right, what are you thinking, Ashley? And I'll go D, Andrew Jackson. Fair, fair, let's see who's right. And it's gonna Ooh, be A, Thomas nice Jefferson. <laughs> That nice one had to have been between was, A and D. That was early enough that we've had French fries mm -hmm. have played a very important role in history. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, with a Louisiana purchase, he was like, oh, that was a busy day. I need a good, <laughs> good plate of fries here. Yeah. But, you know, French fries, I mean, he just bought it from the French. I mean, you know, he had to get something with it. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, that's good. So now you're tied two to two currently. Oh, okay. it's, a, it's a tight one. We got five <laughs> questions total. Let's go to number four here. We're switching to ginseng. Where does Asian ginseng originate from specifically? Now, now this is Asian ginseng, not to be confused with American ginseng. So there's different, different breeds of plants. So uh -huh. A is the mountains of Japan, B, the Himalayas, Co okay. coincidence, C, the Tibetan Plateau, and D, the mountains of Manchuria. I'm gonna go with the Tibetan Plateau. Tibetan Plateau for Jackie, Ashley. I'm also gonna go with C. Interesting, Tibetan Plateau. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is the oh, mountains of Manchuria. I almost chose that because Manchuria is fun to say, but. <laughs> yes, Manchuria, northern China. That's kind of okay, just yeah. north of Korea in there. So, yes, I'm glad I got you stumped on that one. I thought some of you would be on fooled on the Himalayas, seeing it twice in this show mm, so far. That's true. That is I, a good am I going to see it in question mm -hmm. five, Ma Maybe. Michael? Maybe it's in question <laughs> five. Let's, let's find out right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, which U.S. state produces the most ginseng? So let's see if anyone was paying attention when Ashley was uh, talking about ginseng earlier in the show. A, Indiana, B, Ohio, C, Minnesota, or D, Wisconsin? What are you going to say, Jackie? I'm going to say Wisconsin. 
Ashley. I've also got to go with Wisconsin. <laughs> something's just calling me. Something, yeah. something, something feels right. Something feels it. right about that one. All right, let's see it, what we got here. And it is Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, that is. I almost the had to say answer. it at the same time. <laughs> but I was I like, like, what if just in case it just wasn't, <laughs> even though you just said it? But I was like, just in case it's not. Nope, <laughs> nope. Nope. That was very good. It looks like Ashley did not beat Jackie in this quiz. Oh. Good exactly. Work. Nicely done, Good Jackie. I'm, I'm impressed by your potato and ginseng knowledge. <laughs> you did so well. well. To be fair, the one ginseng question I got right was already <laughs> stated. It was kind of obvious. So really, it's just hey. my potato knowledge. Exactly. Well, we'll you have to study up. You did yeah. very well. But I am very happy that you know about the Plover Mash. Yeah. It's going mm -hmm. on. It's going to be a fun thing. People should check it out if Definitely. you do. Definitely. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming in. We really appreciate you coming on the show this morning. Well, and yeah. thanks as always for having me. Stay warm out there, too. Maybe yes. with some potatoes and some ginseng. Absolutely. Absolutely. You never know. But for now, let's take it out to Devin on the weather deck. Devin? Well, no potatoes.